I've already shuffled and I'll be using two oracle cards. For your oracle advice, there are the two cards to the very far left side of the screen. Then we'll go over the past, present, challenge, and outcome. So Capricorn, for your advice, we have strength. And on the flip side of the card, it reads, face your fears. Every challenge is a blessing in disguise, a gift that makes us stronger, more conscious, and ultimately more alive. And this card is paired with, when I lean towards love, I am led. So this is pretty, pretty basic. It's, it's about being strong and facing your fears. And just remember, every challenge is a blessing in disguise. Okay? Um, it's a blessing in disguise, and it's a gift that's going to make you stronger in a lot of ways. And lean towards love, because this will lead you. This will lead you to be stronger. This will lead you to have strength and to and to um, uh, receive the blessings that are in disguise. So that's what we have for your Oracle advice, Capricorns. Now let's get to what you came here for, and that is your reading. So for the recent past, we have the Eight of Cups, and then we have the Two of Swords. Now, in the recent past, um, you probably wanted to leave a situation some type of situation that was no longer working for you, whether it was a relationship, a job, or it could have been a neighborhood. There was probably probably some sadness involved, um, but this separation it was at, it was for your best interests. You had to know or remind yourself, or what happened was good times. They were ahead. They were waiting for you. If your gut was telling you that you really needed to get out of a relationship, job, or living arrangement at that time, you should have trusted yourself, or that's what you did. Also, instead of this coming out of the blue or someone or something leaving you, with this Eight of Cups, it actually means that you're the one who will choose to make this choice. Often, when one door closes behind you, it has to do that before the next door in front of you can fully open. So, when we're talking about love and relationships and you get the Eight of Cups, you probably left a relationship or it was in the process of ending. That's what this um, Eight of Cups is. This is if you were in a relationship. And if you were sure about this it would have been important for you not to wait for the right time because there's never a good time to tell someone that the relationship is over so you probably gave yourself some time and you didn't jump into a new relationship right away so that's the eight of cups and it's paired with the two of swords now the two of swords is about a partnership that's going somewhat well. So there was some partnership or, or relationship that was going well for you. It could have been a friendship. It could have been romantic. It could have been business. However, you would have needed to consider the depths of your commitment to equality. And um, find out whether or not you were being treated as an equal by your partner. If you were not, it could have been time to bring things back into balance. This would have almost certainly required a lot of talk and communication on your part. Because nothing would have changed without, any, without effort. When this Two of Swords talks about relationships and, um, and love, it's a good card romantically, especially for... A romance that's already in existence. Uh, this card, it can signify that your relationship will move to a lighter, easier, more balanced phase with treating each other as equals. And if you were single Capricorns in the recent past and you were looking for a relationship, you probably needed to take a hard look at yourself and see if there was any outstanding emotional issues 
that you needed to deal with first. Because we all know a life partner does not complete you. A life partner is like icing on the cake of your own completed life. So it would have been important for you not to look outside yourself for happiness at that time. Then the relationship you really want, it would have come. So for your recent past, Eight of Cups and Two of Swords, there was something, uh, maybe a neighborhood, a relationship or job, something that you chose to walk away from. You left it behind. And it caused some sadness with the Zeta of Cups. It caused, some, it caused a lot of sadness because you were moving on. Someone could have felt abandoned or um, someone could have felt ghosted or like someone with, withdrew from them. So it caused, like I said, it caused the blues Someone was feeling blue, really blue. But the the um, walking away was necessary. It, it would have taken you to where you really needed to be. And because it's paired with this Two of Swords, um, this is also about things going somewhat well, but something needs to be balanced. Yeah, something needs to be balanced out, and it would have happened with communi <coughs> Excuse me, it would have happened with communication. A lot of talking. Someone wanted to talk. Someone really wanted to talk because um, they knew it would uh, make the relationship more lighter, easier, and more balanced, treating each other as equals. Yeah, if there were any emotional issues on your part or your person's part, um, it needed to be dealt with. And it would, have, it would have brought about a lot of balance to the connection. So, just to sum it up, someone walked away, you, you left something behind, it, would, it caused some sadness. And then there was something um, with the Two of Swords that, um, some type of situation, or maybe a connection, Whereas it needed to be balanced out and a lot of communication. Could have been a friendship. Could have been romantic or business. So those are two two different stories. Alright, so that was for your recent past. Now let's move on to the present time. We have the five of wands and then we have the eight of pentacles. The five of wands is about uh, competition. This could be career, work, but sometimes it can mean romantic rivals. Don't be afraid of competing now. Know that you have something to offer and can be very so you can be successful too. But you have to try to see results. When this card appears in a reading, your need to believe in yourself is going to be is going to be stronger than ever at this time. So even if you have to fake it, hold your head up high. Have faith that you're going to end up in the place that's right for you. Fake it till you make it. You may be thinking of a career change at this time. And just know that you're going to be successful at that too. Think positive. But this is about competition. Possible romantic rivals. And it's paired with the Eight of Pentacles. Now this is about necessary efforts. Uh, you probably feel like you got a lot on your plate that you have to get accomplished. And it's going to be all about dedication to the task. Yeah, dedication. You're going to have to be clear on what you're trying to accomplish and strive for balance. Keep in mind, no one should work all the time. But the Eight of Pentacles can indicate a very, very hard work period. Now, this doesn't have to be negative, but you must be prepared for it. So, for your present, the Five of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles, there's some type of competition. Now, it could also mean that you're being pursued by several people romantically 
or the if you're dealing with someone they could be being pursued by many people so it's about uh, some type of struggle there's gonna be a some type of struggle because competition yeah you could be uh, feel like you have to compete yeah so it's going to be a challenge for you and probably obstacles at this time but we have it paired with the eight of pinnacles now it's going to make you feel like you got a lot on your plate and uh, you got to accomplish a lot um, this competition is going to make you feel like you got to work hard wow just to be successful so it's going to feel like a heavy load it's going to feel like a, a heavy work period all because of this competition but you plan on winning you want to master you want to come out on top but the, yeah yeah you're fighting for it with this eight of pentacles whatever the competition situation is you want to come out as a winner because you got the eight of pentacles here yeah Eight of Pentacles is about mastering your craft. You working hard day and night. So whatever the competition is, if somebody's trying to steal your man, you got five or ten women. You plan on you plan on being successful. Okay, you're working hard just to win. Okay, and so that's what we have for the present time. Now let's move on down and take a look at the challenge we have. Three of Pentacles. And it's paired with the King of Cups. Now, the Three of Pentacles is a very, very positive card in the reading, uh, especially with work and career questions, because the Pentacles is about money and finance. Uh, this is a good overall card in the tarot. It means that you're doing well. People around you, they appreciate your efforts, and they also notice the quality of work you do, even if you're not getting paid. This three, it tells you to keep you keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right track. Even though there could be room for improvement, but at this time, there's no need to scrap something and then start again. There's no need. This three of pentacles is with the king of cups. It's about a balanced male and feminine energy. It holds all the positive qualities of masculine and feminine. If this is a man in your life, uh, it'll probably be, well, this man is very kind and loving, put it that way. Uh, they'll probably have hair on the lighter end of the spectrum, but it could go either way. Just know, at this time, you're supported by the universe in ways seen and unseen. Um, this card is about kindness, compassion. There's an element of pure and true love in your life, no matter what your situation is. No matter what your situation is, okay, at this time, because you got the King of Cups. So go ahead and nurture yourself and allow others to nurture you. So the challenge is the Three of Pentacles and the King of Cups. Uh, three of Pentacles, like I said, it's about your efforts being appreciated. Keep doing what you're doing because you're on the right track and others will... They'll notice um, the, the good work that you're doing. This is an overall good card. Really good card. People around you appreciate your efforts. And um, just don't stop doing what you're doing. Just keep that in mind because you're on the right track. There may be some teamwork there with this Three of Pentacles. Because you see how the two kids are around him. So... And the squirrel is even helping him out in the background. I hope you can see it. It's a really cute card. So there could be some teamwork also um, helping you out. And I'm and I'm picking up that th this is teamwork. Yeah, because you got the King of Cups. Someone is very supportive of what you're trying to do. And because you got this King of Cups, this person that's supportive of you at this time. Is a very loving person very loving and they're kind and compassionate and they're probably reminding you to bring this into your work also because a lot of times when um, 
you can work hard um, and you're just tired and this person is helping to pick you up this help this person is helping to give you a boost um, they could be helping you with your work but there is um, a, a element of pure and true love with this person it sounds like a sounds like a mother or a father or maybe your spouse they really they really love you and they want to support you and they're very compassionate about you so they're a part of whatever you're trying to do with this three of pentacles so that always helps when you have someone compassionate on your side Yeah, so that is your challenge. Now, let's move on down. Let's take a look at the outcome. We have the Five of Pentacles, and it's paired with the Page of Cups. Now, the Five of Pentacles is a time when life is feeling less than secure. Keep in mind, the important thing to remember is that there's always help available when we need it from forces seen and unseen. You could be feeling alone at this time, but just remember you have the capacity to, to change that. So make sure you reach out. Uh, you, like I said, you could be feeling left out in the cold as though everyone in the world has everything and you're the only one that's suffering. Realize that this is not the case. So do the best you can with what you have. But remember, the wise thing to do if you need help is to ask for it. Because the help you need will come. This Five of Pentacles is with the Page of Cups. There's a need to play, dream, and have fun. As you can see, these people are hanging out in the park and they're turning up the bottle. That sounds like what you need to do, Capricorn. Whether it's Kool-Aid in the bottle or, or you know, some type of non-alcoholic. Or if it's liquor. I don't know. I don't know how you get down. But these people are in the park. And they're just hanging loose. And it's saying that's what you, you need to hang loose. for some Maybe because you had a hard work period. And all this competition we talked about in the present time. And, um, yeah, you still got this loving person there. You still got this loving person there. So maybe you, you need to get with this person that's really loving and compassionate towards you and uh, have some fun with them. Yeah. Pull them to the side and let's, let's go to the park. And just hang loose. Yeah. So there's a need for, for, um, for fun. Playing and dreaming at this time. Um, or just a need to be playful. Because you, you got, you, there's something making you feel like you're alone or left out in the cold. And like I said, I don't know if it's because of the comp competitive situation that, that was going on in the present time. But there's something that's making you feel like you're suffering. So, just remember, um, try to be playful. And, yeah, remember... How it was for you when you were a kid. So pull out your childlike energy. And get that king of cups. And have some fun with him. So that's what I have for you. For the second and third week of February 2020. I hope you enjoyed this reading Capricorn. This was a general reading. My next reading for you will be a love reading. So for this reading, there's going to be a link below of the extended. And if I don't get a chance to put in the extended, there's always a link for uh, personal readings. I just want to say I thank you so very much for watching. I hope that you enjoy 2020. And I, it will be nice if you leave a comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll get notified when I post my reading. So once again, I hope February is a beautiful month for you. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching and have a great day.